Hi there, my name is Anthony. Welcome to Forte Podcast. We haven't spoken before, just me and you, so this is something new. And I wholeheartedly welcome you to my Forte YouTube channel, where I interview guests from the art world. If you've been watching since episode one with Ian Schofield, I welcome you again. If you're new and tuning in now, I still welcome you wholeheartedly, and I hope you watch the other previous episodes that I've been making. Over the past few months, there are a few slight changes to the next two episodes, due to the minor difficulties in technology. The next two episodes will be audio only. Again, for those who like watching podcasts in video formats, I do apologize. This is something I can easily fix in the future. The link to the full episode will be down below in the description. But for now, please enjoy this very short clip of award-winning composer Sarah Frances Jenkins. Where she talks about why she composes. Please enjoy. If this is not too hard of a question,、um, apart from、uh, passion, apart from creative urge,、mm. why do you compose? So, if we assume that passion and creative urge is there already,、mm. what other reason spurs you to compose? Passion and creative urge. That's such a good question. I think.、Hmm, I think it helps me to express things that may. Everyone always says it helps me to express things that I can't <laughs> in words. That's like the. <laughs> I don't quite mean that, but <laughs> everyone always says that. Don't、um, it's、I、okay. Think, you could say it too if you want yeah, to. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to think of the best but, way to sort of explain it. Yeah, I think, take your time. Yeah, it helps me to. Say something. I think when I write, I want. I don't want to write a piece that I like, and I think, great, I've done that combination. It vaguely works. Let's do the next one. I want to try and learn how to create things that, when someone listens to it, it takes them to somewhere else, or it helps them to sort of, it takes them to a space that they need to go to. I don't know. Maybe if they need to have a bit of a rest, or like they need to work something through, or. They need to be a bit reflective, or they're angry about something. I think through the sound that I'm sort of wanting to be made,、um, I want it to just yeah to sort of give something to someone listening,、uh, or to give them a space to reflect. I'm repeating myself, but yeah, it's such an interesting question. I think sort of to try and facilitate、um, something for the audience rather than it being. Just something to listen to.、Mm. I don't really know how to explain it. <laughs>、um, <clears throat> an an outlet for passion and creative urge.、Um, to see composing as that is、uh, maybe more of a selfish act. Perhaps. But maybe what you're trying to say is、um, a selfless act, a service for other people.、Mm. Is that what you're trying to say? I think it is. Yeah. A service for them. Yeah, I think. I I worry that the moment we make it all about us、mm. is the moment we've lost the audience again,、uh, and I yeah I just slightly worry these days that I mean it's fantastic that there's so many you know there's you can literally go on the internet and type in any type of music and there's something that you know there's all different styles and things we probably haven't even heard of and、um, fusions and everything it's amazing、um, but yeah I just worry in terms of this gap between audiences and. People who are in the music,、mm. I suppose it's a bit of a bubble. Actually,、uh, it you know, sort of, if we are too sort of self indulgent, we really lose lose them. And I think we need to do things to reach out more and to sort of create music that really lets people be taken away to a space that feels more inclusive. I don't know.、Mm. Something I'm thinking about more lately, and I need to sort of pick it apart in my brain more, but. That's sort of the gist of、yes. what I'm feeling about it. I think. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 